sit a moment and rest. I see. It's his end. The body has decayed, I think. That artifact records memories in 3D. That ex this scene explains a lot. A lot. The artifacts, what they do, what was what Altair was hiding. Now the apple. Another artifact. No, you will stay here. I have seen enough for one life. Desmond? He's talking to me. I heard your name once before, Desmond. A long time ago. And now it lingers in my mind. Like an image from an old dream. I do not know where you are, or by what means you can hear me. But I know you are listening. He's passing the torch. The knowledge? I have lived my life as best I could. Not knowing its purpose, but drawn forward like a moth to a distant moon. And here at last, I discover a strange truth. That I am only a conduit for a message that eludes my understanding. Who are we who have been so blessed to share our stories like this? To speak across centuries? Maybe you will answer all the questions I have asked. Maybe you will be the one to make all this suffering worth something in the end. Now, listen. Passing the knowledge and goals. Do you hear me, Cypher? Can you see me? The objective. What's this? Ah, there you are. A strange place, this nexus of time. I am not used to the calculations. That has always been Minerva's domain. You're talking to me? I see you still have many questions. Who were we? What became of us? What do we desire of you? You will have your answers. Only listen, and I will tell you how. Are you Zeus? Both before the end and after, we sought to save the world. We built vaults within which to work, each dedicated to a different method of salvation. They were placed underground to avoid the war which raged above, and also as a precaution should we fail in our efforts. Each vault's knowledge was transmitted to a single place. It was our duty, mine, Minerva's, and Juno's, to sort 
and sunk all that was collected. We chose those solutions which held the most promise and devoted ourselves to testing their merits. Six we tried in succession, each more encouraging than the last, but none worked. And then the world ended. Oh, this was before the 2012 bullshit. Right. I get it. Why the sun is so... focused on. Was that a, s a solar storm? What was that? shook for days, the fires burned for weeks, and when the ash had settled, less than 10,000 of your kind still lived, and far fewer of ours. But we carried on, together, to rebuild, to renew. Listen, you must go there, to the place where we labored, labored and lost. Take my word. Pass them from your head into your hands. That is how you will open the way. But be warned, much still remains in flux, and I do not know how things will end, either in my time or yours. Wait, look, his vitals are stabilizing. Something's happening. He's... he's moving! Desmond, can you hear me? Son? No, oh, it's father. I know what we need to do. Roll Assassin's Creed free. Credits now, I suppose. The revelations. Apparently cannot skip the credits. Well, that's shameful. Anyway, uh, yes, I'll take this opportunity to tell you what I'm going to do next related with Assassin's Creed Revelations. Basically, they are the DLCs that I need to play. I still have to finish the main game. There are some side quests that I haven't touched yet. 
I haven't finished the Master Assassin missions. And the cutscene related with the books. Still haven't shown you that. So, yes, there are some things that I still need to do. I'm not sure if I'll do the guild challenge. I'll see the rewards. If they are worthy of being shown, then I'll do them. But basically, yes, I'm trying to tell you that uh, we still have some stuff to do with Assassin's Creed Revelations before we go to Assassin's Creed 3. So, on that note, thank you for watching. This was Scorbus Gaming Assassin's Creed Revelations walkthrough. I hope that you enjoyed this and stay tuned because we haven't finished the game yet. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. I'll see you soon. Cheers!